Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I appreciate it for inviting me to this presentation to participate to this uh, conference. And I hope I can uh, share with you uh, a little bit my experience on this uh, research work. So uh, I would like to present my research work with the net, uh, name Neural Network uh, Modeling of the uh, Firing Process of Polymetallic Areas. So it uh, depends on connecting with uh, automation of metallurgical processes. And uh, first of all, I should present to the uh, authors. So uh, this is my person, Gulna Rabitova. I worked at Astana University as an associate professor. Uh, another one uh, researcher here, our partner, international partner, Vladimir Nikulin from State University at Binghamton, USA. And uh, at the same time, we have uh, national partners, clutch, uh, such as uh, Eurasian National University. From, it's uh, Leila Rzaeva, doctor, and uh, some doctor students such as Sansu Zadenova and Ali Murzatai. And before I would like to start, I would just uh, a little bit present my geographic place and we are located at our university because I am from Kazakhstan. It's uh, uh, such as uh, Asia country, uh, Middle East and this is our uh, capital, uh, Nur Sultan, and the, our university located here, just uh, in the center of Expo. Uh, maybe uh, some of you knows about Expo, which uh, uh, have been several years ago. So uh, let's move to our presentation. And here I would like to present you several uh, parts of our research, such as introduction, methodology, mathematical modeling, because it's uh, about automation. And uh, some little bit talking about optimization model. And of course, discussion and results uh, about mathematical model applying and at the same time about application of neural network technology and conclusion. So uh, problem statements here. Uh, you, you know that uh, metallurgical process usually such as lead zinc production and uh, processing of polymetallic ores is very complex uh, technological processes which consist several chemical mechanical uh, processes uh, with some uh, multi-component reaction and therefore uh, the um, widely used mathematical modeling it's uh, sometimes very complicated processes and complicated application to make some optimization in automation or control of these processes. For example, in non-ferrous metallurgy, it's our area of research uh, while processing uh, of sulfate polymetic ores, there are often uh, several problems connecting to the quality of the uh, product, final product and making decision making uh, in the control and operation of uh, some equipment, uh, technological equipment, uh, because they're here very important to follow and uh, to keep the accuracy and etiquette of this model line. So actually mathematical models of these kinds of metallurgical processes are often simplified and uh, sometimes limited to the certain uh, such as assumption and uh, sometimes we apply uh, like uh, approximation. And therefore, uh, especially for these kinds of industry processes, very necessary uh, and very important to find and study another type such as innovative methods and new approach uh, to solve these kinds of problems uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, which applicable to the lead, um, the lead production or another types of uh, this kind of production in the enterprise. So moving to the methodology of research and problems, we are uh, should say that the, here 
we involve uh, some uh, widely used and modern uh, techniques such as uh, mathematical modeling, such as some analytical tools. But at the same time, we propose in uh, our work to apply uh, with mathematical modeling at the same time some natal network techniques and technology, because uh, here we should uh, be sure that our all calculation and all getting and obtain results are very accurately and adequate. So <clears throat> Uh, in this case, we uh, wanted to propose and we made these kinds of the research using neural network techniques to determine the accuracy of the results uh, usually obtained when we saw some heat uh, very popularly used in the, this kind of production and energy transfer problems uh, because uh, here we should did uh, and do some multi-purpose computing system. And uh, uh, some are uh, creating our models for, uh, for example, optimization of these kinds of processes. Uh, you can see on this slide. So, uh, the first of all, we should uh, make calculation of the firing processes because it's the first important part of the whole technological production, such as uh, in the uh, processing of polymetallic ores. And then after that, we should determine the number of pilots, such as metallic sun products, uh, which we wanted to fire in the agglomeration of pro furnaces. And after that, we should calculate some parameters of the external uh, heat transfer. Uh, next, our steps is determination of these uh, agglomerations, some crashing uh, processes, uh, it's of course depends on several parameters. And after that, we should solve some conjecture problem on the heat transfer because heat transfer is a very important part of the uh, process of polymetallic uh, ores in uh, this kind of production. And after determination, some thermal balance and calculation, some temperature uh, differences, uh, we uh, should make some correction of the parameters. And after that, we should uh, determine finally uh, the uh, some cost of the production, such as uh, production cost, because we know that uh, finally the <coughs> the important parameters uh, which we should control and uh, optimize it's uh, of course some economic parameters such as uh, production cost so <clears throat> Sorry, for designing uh, these kinds of the optimization models, uh, it is need to choose some, uh, of course, objective function. Uh, like I said, for for example, controlling some economic parameters, and uh, here we can see uh, some universal such as economic parameters. Maybe it's much suitable for industry production. It of course uh, the production cost uh, here presenting, and. Uh, this production cost usually consists several uh, types of the parameters, such as set for the whole year, and mainly they uh, consist several types of the and other types of the cost, such as cost of the uh, maintenance, cost of the uh, repair works, and so on. Uh, so the, for example, here you can see cost of the maintaining and operating equipment related to the some variable cost. Uh, you can find, you can see on the equation number two and using this equation, we can find uh, these types of the cost. And finally, the third cost, uh, our optimization parameter for these types of the production, uh, we can uh, determine by using equation number T three, and because uh, uh, the uh, here uh, we can find some the production cost of the several types of the manufacture, and after that we can uh, here. Uh, the same time to use some cost of the maintaining and operating equipment. So optimization parameters here, uh, 
while selecting the uh, operating mode of the equation for agglomeration firing force, it's kind of the minimum of, of production sales force. So this is our uh, kinds of the goal to get this minimum. And parameters of operating mode here usually taking such as some variable uh, parameters in the model. So. Uh, uh, using some numerical uh, calculation, we can find after finally uh, our needed uh, the equation or formula. We can see such as for uh, making mathematical modeli, it's presented in equation number four. And uh, here we, we should find three types of the parameters and sometimes of the coefficient. So uh, here. When during our research work, we uh, tried to find some uh, parameters and to uh, determine some constraints. Uh, using these types, so here we have a constraint to making and solving our optimization problem. And uh, as you see in the table number one, uh, you can see these types of the eight constraints for making optimization because it's uh, needed here parameters uh, to getting some the minimum of the production cost. Uh, we should uh, control these types of the parameters very accurately. You have yeah. three minutes. You oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, so there are uh, another types of the results uh, you can see on the table number two. Here, another types using some computer models and from mathematical model line. And finally, there are our training uh, algorithms for training our neural node uh, model presented on the uh, figure number two. And <clears throat> after Creating our model, we made some verification of course results. So on the table number three, presenting you some current analysis of the learning outcomes and conclusion. And as you see here, uh, our such as obtaining the rules, it's very, very small, which uh, proved our very um, our idea and proposed methods. And here you can see some of the results which uh, give you uh, some verification of the results. And finally, <clears throat> As a result, we obtained the form outcomes of our training. So, neural not calculation errors is uh, our methodical uh, palette. It's uh, very uh, low from, uh, for example, 11 to 24 percent. The neural not calculation errors in the <clears throat> time agglomeration uh, range length from the uh, 0 0.227. And finally, uh, the calculation in the temperature from the needle uh, one near one to three persons. So uh, in our conclusion, uh, finally, after getting our results, uh, we can uh, finally realize that uh, they proposed our uh, technology or method it's, it's uh, very applicable to uh, leads in production and uh, because uh, we can increase the effectiveness to 10 percent and uh, um, we can finally get some the decreasing the production cost thank you for your attention and here you can see my email if you have some questions thank you very much <laughs>